Okay, first up is review of our challenge from yesterday. So we need to find the lowest, okay, so the GCF basically, the greatest common factor between these two sets of numbers. So basically, what number is it that will divide the same into both numbers that are on the person's chest? Or we can think of what's the highest number, the biggest number that multiplies with another number to get that number, whatever it is. Okay, so the GCF of this one is 12, right? 12 times two and then 12 times three. Between 28 and 35, seven. Between 14 and four, it's gonna be two. Between 48 and four, it's going to be four. 56 and 28, this is a hard one. It actually is 28 because 28 times two is 56. And then 45 and 27 will be nine. Okay, so now we have to figure out the person who goes the lowest goes first. Okay, so this one's the lowest. So pair three goes first. And then the next lowest would be four, which is also pair four. And then next would be seven, which is pair two. Next is nine, which is pair six. And then one, which is pair, which is, or sorry, 12, which is pair one. And then 28 is the biggest one, which is pair five. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, this one is the most challenging because it's kind of like you have to just work through a lot of different mathematical scenarios and process of elimination, figure out which one will be in the middle. Okay, so can divide by two. We know this is going to be a an even number. Less than 35. Okay, so it's, it's kind of small. Multiples of three. Okay, this is kind of a key one. So if it's multiples of three, we could have and also divided by two. So six would work. Nine's a multiple of three, but is nine divided by two? No. So we go to 12, right? And then we have 15, but is 15 divided by two? No. Then we have 18. Okay, that works. Then we would have 21, but 21 cannot divide by two. And then we would have 24. Uh, 24. Okay, that would work. Okay, let's stop there for now. Okay, and then did it add up to nine? All right, well, this one works, right? 18, okay, ta-da! Next is a prime number, okay? So that's like all, all of our like three, five, seven, 11, 13, 19, right? Okay, greater than three, less than 50. Okay, so there are threes gone. When divided by four, the remainder is three. Okay, well, seven would work for that. Um, 11 would work for that. 19 would work for that, okay? And then factors of 76. Okay, well, let's, we can even bring out our calculator and see what would be divisible. Um, is 76 divisible by seven? No. Is 76 divisible by 11? No. Is 76 divisible by 19? The answer actually is yes. Okay, so 19 is your answer for this one. Okay, next one is an even multiple of seven. Okay, so let's write down the multiples of seven first. Okay, but even, is seven an even multiple? No. Then we have to go to 14, and then we're gonna go to 21, but that does not count, so we're gonna do 28. I think we're just gonna have to double this, right? 28, and then what's 28? Uh, 28 plus 28. 16, 56, that works. Okay, but then we're probably gonna have a couple other ones in here as well. What if I did 56 plus 14? What is that? 70, and then I can add another 14, 84. Okay, so 70 and 84 also count. Okay, cool. Next greater than 29 okay so those ones are gone um divisible by four and divisible by six okay is 54 divisible by four let's see here one four nope that's not going to work right 14 does not work so that's not going to be it so we know 54 is automatically off our list 70 is 70 divided by four Divisible by four. Let's see, it goes in once, four, subtract three, bring down the zero. 
um, 28, right? So that would be 7. Oh, that's not going to work, right? It's going to get an odd number. So that's not going to work. Okay, so it's not going to be that one. Maybe 84. Oh, I think this one will work. 4. Okay, that goes in twice. And then 8. Subtract 0, 4. Right on, 21. Okay, so that works. Let's see if it's also 84, also divisible by 6. Okay, goes in once, six, two, four, right on. So that works. Good job, 14, okay. So the answer is 84. Okay, that was good, nice, a little bit challenging. Okay, next, swimming in logic. Okay, so we have to figure out the order of the people. All right, this is kind of a cool one, a little bit more like brain gym kind of stuff, okay. So Asher finishes before Grace, but then after Emily, okay? So let's see, Asher. Okay, so right now we know that, I'm just gonna work maybe like at the bottom. Okay, so we know that somehow it's Emily. And then we know that Asher has to go there. And then we know that Grace has to go like that. Okay, so we're done with those ones for now. Grace finished after Alicia, but before Finn and Dylan. Okay, so Grace finished after Alicia. Okay, so maybe, okay, so we have to put Finn and Dylan. Oh, Finn, this is, okay, Finn came last. Okay, so Finn, and then maybe Dylan. Okay, Grace finished after Alicia. Okay, so maybe it's like this. Alicia. Alicia finished before Emily. Okay, so Alicia has to go here. Okay, but then we still have we still don't have okay, so we think we're good for Asher. We think we're good for Grace. We think we're good for Emily. We think we're good for Alicia. Finn and Dylan. Wait. Grace finished after Alicia. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Grace finished after Alicia. Yeah, okay, she did. There you go. That's the order. So Alicia, and then second would be Emily, and then Asher, and then Grace, and then Dylan, and then Finn. Nice. Okay, that was kind of a fun one. Okay, now battling for decimals. Okay. All right. So for this one, all righty. Okay, this one takes a bit more work. Okay, so write each player's batting average as a fraction. Okay. Oh. Did I not give us all of the information that we needed for this one? What? No, I think I did. Oh, no. Maybe I didn't. Maybe there's another one. Mm. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to use these trade math cards. Oh, no, I didn't give you the right pages. Ah, okay, we'll have to do this today. 